Hey everyone, uh, I hope that this video works. I just got back from Best Buy where I've been twice this week uh, in the last two days because I had to fix a broken laptop. And uh, tonight I had a big stack of uh, symbols to scan um, so I could work on some of the activations and um, I touched it and <laughs> it stopped working. So uh, I had to take care of that. And then uh, a cable box, those are, those are the, uh, those are the, the November 2019 uh, electronic um, fatalities from, <laughs> from the energy. Um, but I wanted to give a quick update. All of our call, all of the schedule, everything is out on the, on the membership site. Um, but I wanted to talk kind of about the energy. A lot of people have been feeling um, kind of the, uh, oh, I don't even, it's just like, I, I talked a little bit about it of cocooning. I've talked about... Um, kind of a, a retreat, um, not in like a oh, spa way, but like a, ugh, I, want, I want out of the energy kind of way. Um, that is starting to, we've already hit the, the, the crest of that wave. So uh, you should now start to feel uh, some of that energy heading out. Um, I'll share a little bit of an interesting story that I had. I was helping a friend of mine set up a uh, workspace, it's crystals and things like that, Reiki, and uh, she was in the other room. And um, I kept hearing it was like that scene out of um, when Harry met Sally, and it was like this, oh, <laughs> and like really that. And I was, I was like, what are you doing in there? And uh, she was getting an IV, like a um, one of the uh, like with vitamins and, and minerals and, and all of this stuff, and like the the healthy kind of stuff. Her sister is a doctor, so they were they were kind of setting up the you know space for like energy work and for other other things like that. And I was like, I you've about sold me on this. This sounds really amazing. I want to try it. So uh, we set it up to go and try it and um, went over and stuck a vein and uh, it opened up. And then as soon as she went to go like administer the IV, my vein closed up. And I went, well, that's, that's strange, but okay. And so she was like, well, that, that is weird, but you're, you know, she knows me and she's like, you're, you're weird. So we'll try the other arm. Same thing. Vein opened up. Everything was great. Uh, you know, there was this gross, but you know, blood, a little bit of the, the pushback. Went to hook the IV up vein closed and so started doing the work on it right there because she's like because i i wanted to do it and i'm stubborn and uh so i started i had her read me off everything that was in it and uh, at the time um i was painting some shelves and so i'd been kind of uh headachey you know like lacquer smells things like that and uh when she hit this one certain thing i said stop my body reacted instantly to that and i said that's what my body won't let me have i said what does that do and she said, ironically, it's really good for headaches. And I said, okay, so my body doesn't want what supports it and what's good for it. Got a big yes. And I went, oh man, okay. So let's take this a little bit deeper. And so I, I just said, give me, give me a couple minutes and let me, let me do the energy work here. And so I really worked on, you know, knowing that I create for me, um, nobody else creates for me. So we're, we're really looking at sovereignty and that's what I've been looking at within the, the daily work for the group. Um, but really looking at, if I want it, uh, or if it's good for me, that uh, somehow I have to suffer to create it. I have to suffer to get it. I have to, um, I have to not allow it. I have to disallow it. I have to sabotage it. There's a whole bunch of addendums and things that come along with that. And so I just wanted to kind of. So anyway, I did the work on that, and I said, okay. And she said, well, your veins are already closed up. Like, I think we should probably, and I said, no, just stick me. She said, I already stuck you there. I said, I want you to stick me in the same vein. I don't even want you to find a different vein. I want you to stick me in the same vein on this arm that you stuck me with. And I said, watch, it's going to open right up. And because I did, it was literally the layers, the different layers of having to uh, suffer to create. And it was like, if I didn't have the headache, there would be no suffering and the shelf would be, all of that would be easy. And this little workspace I was making was going to be fun. It was a space to actually display some of my, wrestling collectibles that I have uh, from when I was a kid. And so it was kind of like this idea that you can't just have fun. There has to be some suffering. And um, so then I started tracking that with some work things. And then, but anyway, as I was doing that, I was doing the work and just saying, open up uh, and I'm opening up to receiving. And so then um, I got the little infusion. It was just a, a push thing. It felt really, really good. And I could tell something had shifted very big. And so I started tracking that. Uh, and then I spoke with a friend of mine who, uh, D Wallace, and she was working on some of the exact same stuff. And I know she's going to share a little bit of that with her community. Um, and so that is some of the stuff that has been coming up. I've seen it in the last three or four days um, start to really come up 
on the group side as well. Just around, you know, what supports me, what nourishes me, what I can allow. Because if, if we have the ingrained beliefs about what nourishes us or what we want, uh, we have to suffer for or we can't allow ourselves to have, or there has to be some kind of pushback, um, it ultimately starts to kick in all of those loops that keep us feeling like we're pushing and we're not letting ourselves uh, move into the space that we want to move into. So that's where I've been kind of working on within our group for November, um, as well as symbols. Now, speaking of those, uh, I'm kind of at my saturation point as far as um, I want to finish everybody's symbol. I'd like to finish them all by next week, um, but it's taken me a couple weeks to get to where I'm at now. And I know that kind of how everything's lining up with our calls. Uh, and I know people are a little late with their requests, so it's going to be like a week, week and a half. Um, so I've got probably room for maybe 30 more people to add that part. But um, we've been seeing so much growth already, and we're kind of on track to have this be the biggest thing yet for November. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to include it in this page. If you still would like a symbol, you can either email uh, or you can get it off of the Darius page. But I'm going to um, create a different thing and I'll put it, it'll be below the video, uh, where basically it'll be everything and this will be the biggest thing for the, the, the biggest bang for your buck that I think I've probably done. Um, but I think that just if people, if, if you were somebody that wanted to work with the energy, um, but you weren't sure or you weren't in a space, even financially with the flow, um, heading into the holidays, stress, all of these things, um, kind of what we're going to be doing, what I just talked about is kind of where we're, we're starting out and really getting in touch with, okay, what is it that I desire in my life? Why? Another thing that's been coming up is uh, people have been talking about, this is what I want. But then we realize that what we want um, is, is based off of the limiting place of where we're coming from. So we may be saying, well, I want um, my house paid off, or I want a job, or I want to feel better. I mean, there's all, all different levels of where people are at. Yet from all of those spaces, what do those things bring? And ultimately they bring a feeling, they bring freedom. Well, okay, so right now feel into whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you want. We could do a little energy work on that real quick. So just feel into whatever it is you want. And then of course there's the, would you rather want it or have it? And sometimes that's like a, oh wow, I just realized we're maybe in a relationship uh, or even with money, I, I want it, but having it changes my story so much my brain doesn't even know how to comprehend it. So we there's little places of letting go there. But then we get into, okay, so once we have whatever it is that we are uh, creating, and then we get into the beliefs of I can only create once, somebody's going to always take it away from me, um, all of the different stuff that comes with creation. But what is it? what does it really bring about in you? What's the feeling? What's the feeling that you're seeking? And so when you can start to have that feeling of, and that's where we talk about like feeling as if it's already complete. And if you can start to have the feeling and not that, okay, you know, I've, uh, like if you want to grow your hair out, I don't know what this is a weird, weird thing that just came, but it's like, okay, I'm not going to be walking around like, you know, flipping my imaginary hair. And maybe I am, uh, not that I'm growing my hair out either, but, uh, it would be the space of, you know, what is the feeling that the hair, um, this is a weird analogy, but that's what came to me. Uh, what is it that the hair would signify? What is it, what is it that, that would mean, you know? So feel into whatever it is for you. If, if you're working on a relationship, what is it that it would bring feeling-wise to, to have it? Maybe it's closure around a relationship. What is the feeling of that? And just feel into it. What is it, if it's career-wise, what is it that you're working on career-wise? What would it feel like? Just feel into that. And so there's a feeling that comes with everything. So we're gonna start to work the creation. So when we talk about portals and we talk about dimension, we talk about opening up. What we're really doing is opening these pockets within ourselves because what we find is that we have sort of segmented all of these different thoughts, all of these different um, aspects of ourselves, beliefs, experiences, all of these things. And uh, it's like bubble wrap and rather than just having like one big tube of, of flow. And so uh, rather than popping them all um, or releasing the beliefs, we can open up to one big uh, flowing tube, if you will, having all of our energy in one accord, knowing that, you know, my yes means yes, my no means no, that we have our energetic boundaries. Uh, we're opening up to, you know, if you say portal or dimension, or whatever, you're opening that space up to 
bringing in what it is you desire, opening up within yourself that portal to the, the you that is ready to embrace that feeling that then opens up the space dimensionally to align to that, that vortex space where everything can start to come in and be created. And so that's what all of these journeys are structured to do. They're structured to really take you into a space feeling-wise. Feelings are the gasoline in the engine of manifestation. And so they're, they're designed to take you into new spaces of meeting who you are, understanding who you are in a new way, loving who you are in a new way, helping to forgive, helping to release, helping to transmute, helping to really create in a new sort of um, alchemized way a new way of being for you. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the symbol option. I'm going to take out the uh, activation option um, and kind of scale back a little bit, but still give you all the downloads, still give you all of the calls, um, everything that's there for $100 off, even though um, the early bird discount ended. Uh, so it's going up. So it's really even more than that off, but it's for $197. So that as many people as want to come in, you'll have this huge library of stuff. Uh, as many people that would like to participate, because usually what I do is I put something out and as soon as I'm done with it, I move on to the next thing and it goes into a hard drive uh, and I don't ever take it out and play with it again. And so I want as many people uh, who would like to be able to experience this energy, to play in this energy, to be able to meet themselves and have fun and to really start to set a foundation on this planet and this plane where we are right now to start lifting all of this energy that we are into a higher vibration, into a higher resonance so that we can start detaching from all of the old clutter, uh, whether it's physical, whether it's mental, whether it's spiritual, whatever it is, and really allowing ourselves to have a, a much bigger, broader spectrum of light from which to create with and from which to see ourselves. Um, sometimes when we look in the mirror, we only see you know, the, the one or two little things and it's the things that, that we judge about ourselves. And this is opening it up to such a bigger, bigger spectrum. So um, that's, I, want, you know, I wanted to bring out the, uh, the group work particularly and to say, really pay attention and share that story about the IV, even though it's kind of a, a strange story, but about what supports you. And um, if you can allow those things and if you have resistance to allowing the things that support you, the things that nourish you, um, if you feel like there is reticence or hesitance, uh, there probably has been some feeling, um, and this was something I talked about in the energy updates, um, kind of in the last week of October, uh, of leading into that space of um, where it was going to feel a little bit like, you know, wanting to withdraw and wanting to cocoon. That's kind of all um, spacing out the 1111 gateway energies. Those are going to really go all the way into the 26th, 27th. Of November and so we've got this beautiful space uh, of what that is is it's, it's really just sort of a, a signifier of our ability to tune into higher and higher frequencies uh, allowing ourselves to shed those limitations to really orient with who it is we're going to become who it is we're wanting to be um, and there's a real difference sometimes with who it is we say we want to be and the actions uh, or the thoughts that we're thinking and, and if those things are in alignment and so this is all a chance to say, okay, I recognize that, you know, um, who I am in my daily living and who, who I want to become or who I, who I even think that I am, there's a, there's a chasm and I want to start to bridge that and I want to really start to step into creating something new. Um, this is kind of a, a really, we all, uh, there's, there's moments of uh, change and choice everywhere in our life, um, big big yes flash, but this is a, a wonderful space where we're going to be able to really start to gain some momentum and kind of roll in with that. So um, that's part of why I wanted to, to just say that. So if you uh, are in a space where you, uh, plus I'm uh, overworked on the symbols and I want to be able to make sure that I can accommodate as many people as would like. So um, like I said, I'll, I'll put everything that is going to be in that package. It would just be minus the symbol, minus the activation, uh, and then you'd get the discount of $100 off. So um, pretty, pretty awesome if you want to uh, come on board. If not, um, then after that, uh, I'll probably do like a solstice call or something. And uh, you'll have a, <laughs> we'll have a little break. So, um, but yeah, so a lot of kind of exciting stuff. Um, and uh, there should be some other other things to keep an eye out for that I'll, I'll keep you updated on. But so I hope that as many people... Um, want to come on board and join 
come on board and join because we're gonna have a really good time. So I will uh, put all the kind of updated stuff down below this and you can check it out. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Namaste.